Grand Prairie is cracking down at lunchtime. Uh, students who continuously refuse to pay for lunch will not eat. Now, we should be clear, we're not talking about those students who receive free or reduced lunch. Those students will get meals. But for the others, well, we want you to weigh in. Should schools withhold lunch if teens do not pay? Answer yes, teach them responsibility, or no, they need to eat. While you vote, here's Lauren Zakalik. Yes, it does make me sad. I mean, Jocelyn Menjivar has four children who are or will be coming up through the Grand Prairie ISD. When looking at schools, Grand Prairie was one of the top school districts in DFW. But she feels the district they so desired is letting children down. I think it's not okay. It's not okay. She's talking about this new school lunch policy for high schoolers. The district will no longer allow students to charge meals. Students at this grade level are capable of being responsible for themselves, the policy says. <laughs> this doesn't apply to students who get free or reduced price lunches. It's absurd. They're in high school. I, I would never expect my high schooler to be responsible for for providing for their own lunch um, financially. We knew there'd probably be some questions. And that's District spokesman Sam Buckmeyer says they made this decision because last year, unpaid lunches cost the district $400,000. This year so far, 200,000. That we needed to be uh, good stewards of our taxpayers' money. So now after a five-day grace period of not paying for lunch, they'll no longer get food. He doesn't expect that to happen, however. And we think that that five-day period gives us plenty of time to, to work with those parents, whatever the situation may be. There is a school board meeting tonight in Grand Prairie. The new school lunch policy is not on the agenda, but there is a time for parents to discuss it if they wanted to. Menjavar is among those speaking out. Prisoners get are guaranteed a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and you're going to say that our high schoolers can't have, are not guaranteed a lunch. She feels food should not be a question for our children. In Grand Prairie, I'm Lauren Zakalik.